Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. I'm back again with one of my favorite things that I do on this channel, and that is highlighting the new movies and shows coming out for the new month. And we're talking about the month in November. I can't believe we only got two months left of 2020, but we still got some good movies and shows to go over, and I'm so excited to let you all know what I'm excited for. And of course, I want to know what you all are excited for in this video before we dive into the details, as you can see on the screen now. Make sure you all are following me on all my other social media accounts. That way, you can stay up to date with what's going on over here at Movie Files. If you are new to the channel welcome to the community make sure you all subscribe and while you're at it hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new movie reviews tv reviews live streams all the fun things we do on this very channel it would mean a lot to me if you all can give this video a thumbs up it helps out the channel but i also really appreciate it and in the comments let's discuss the new releases coming out in november there may be some films i might miss some shows i might miss so i want to know what you all are excited for that can be at the theater vod streaming new blu-rays or still books or 4ks coming out let's have a discussion about it in the comments section below so something i want to kind of add to these videos is something that i normally do but it's normally like 30 seconds to a minute long but this time around i'm going to rank my top five movies that i saw last month new movies that is and also give you guys some recommendations for some shows and if it's something you guys like i can do like a separate video of this but i just figured i'd kind of test the waters out and rank again my favorite movies that i saw in october and also shows that i recommend you all check it out so with that being said let's get into the list so quick honorable mention, now this film came out over 17 years ago, but it recently had a digital re-release, and that is Bung Joon-ho, Memories of Murder, such a fantastic film, I reviewed it on this channel, check it out, and also if you get the opportunity, I highly recommend you guys check this out on VOD. Coming in at number 5 is a Netflix original musical animated film, Over the Moon. This film had incredible visuals. I love the musical aspect. This has such a great story and I can't recommend this movie enough. Coming in at number four is Charm City Kings on HBO Max. A really great drama coming of age story with some strong performances. My number three is Brandon Cronenberg's Possessor. A great horror film with great body horror, really great visuals and just strong performances across the board. Coming in at number two is Trial of the Chicago 7. Aaron Sorkin is back at it again with a great courtroom drama with some really great performances. So making my number one spot for the new movie I saw in October, that is Netflix's Haunted House horror film, His House. Two great performances by our leads. The direction and the writing by Remy Meeks was incredible. I am in love with His House. I will not be surprised if this cracks my top five movies of this year. It's incredible and I can't recommend it enough. So those are my top five movies that I saw in the month of October. New movies, that is. Let me know what your top five movies were and let me know if you've seen any of those movies and give a little review. Let me know what you all thought about those films. So with that being out of the way, let me give you guys some shows that I recommended that came out in the month of October. So kicking this list off with one of my biggest hit surprises of 2020, that is Apple TV Plus, Ted Lasso with Jason Sudeikis. This is such a feel-good story, such a great comedy with some really good performances. I can't recommend this show enough. We got Amazon Prime, The Boys Season 2. Maybe not as strong as the first season, but has some really great moments with some really great new characters, and I can't wait to see what happens in the next season. We have HBO Original, The Third Day, starring Jude Law and Naomi Harris. This is such a psychological thriller. Mixes in the mid Summer meets Wicker Man. Can't recommend the show enough. One of my favorite shows this year on HBO is Lovecraft Country. We covered it every single week on this channel really extensively. We had some live streams. This is such a groundbreaking series and I can't recommend this horror genre with so many different things that it involved enough in Lovecraft Country. Now, I didn't love this as much as I did The Haunting on Hill House, but The Haunting on Blind Manor is still a well-done series. Mike Flanagan is one of the best doing it today, and I really enjoyed this season. I definitely recommend you guys give this a watch. And then another show that I highly recommend you guys give this a watch. Now, someone that's not a chess player or cares about chess, I couldn't believe how much I love The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. Ian Taylor-Joy was incredible. The cinematography, the story, the pacing, such a great story. I cannot recommend The Queen's Gambit enough on Netflix, and that is my recommendations for the month of October. Now, again, you could check out all those movies I ranked, all those shows I talked about on this very channel. Let me know in the comments which shows that premiered last month or wrapped up in October that you were really excited about, that you love and you recommend. Let's have a discussion about it in the comments below. With that being on the way, let's get into the new movies that are coming to either VOD or theaters. Let's talk about it. So coming November 6th, we got two new releases coming on video on demand, one being Let Him Go and the other being The Informer. Now, I do have a screener for Let Him Go, which stars Kevin Costner and Diane Lane. I'm a big fan of their work and excited to see what this drama is all about. And then The Informer, you have Joel Kinnerman and have some really good cast members. It looks like a really solid drama and I'm hopefully can check out a screener for it. But let me know if you guys are excited for those two films. Let's talk about it in the comments below. 
And then coming out on November 13th, which is Friday the 13th, we have Friday, the new Vince Vaughn film in which he switches bodies with a teenage girl, and this is a comedy horror. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of the director. Now, he directed both films, Happy Death Day, which I really enjoyed a couple years ago. Then he had the Happy Death Day to You, which I'm not a fan of. But again, I like Vince Vaughn. The trailer looks okay. I've heard some really good things about it, and I'm hoping to check it out sooner rather than later. So let me know if you guys are excited about Freaky, and if you want to check it out, or if you've seen it, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. So with that being said, we have a bunch of other movies that you guys can see on the screen now, which is coming out in limited release on November 13th. So switching gears to streaming services, starting off with Netflix, we have November 13th, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. Now this film looks really interesting. I love the visuals. I love the cast and really excited to start Christmas in November. Let me know if you all are excited about this film that comes out November 13th. Now I've never seen an episode of this show, but I've heard nothing but great things and I might as well share it on this list and that is Sunday, November 15th. We have The Crown season four. Let me know if this is worth checking out, guys, if you're a big fan of The Crown and let me know if you guys are excited for season four in the comments below. Now, coming out Tuesday, November 14th, we have Hillbilly Elegy film premiere, a Netflix original. You have Ron Howard directing the film. You have Amy Adams. You have Glenn Close. This is a Hillbilly drama. It looks incredible. I am a sucker for Amy Adams, so you can definitely expect to see a review for that film come Tuesday, November 24th. So those were the movies and shows that are coming out on Netflix in November. Let me know what movies, what shows you're most excited for that I miss any. Let's have a discussion about it in the comments below. With that being said, let's transition over to Amazon Prime. So on Friday, November 13th, we have a brand new Amazon series by the name of Alex Ryder. Now, I'm not too familiar with this IP, but my buddy over at Filmspeed Griffin read the books when he was a kid and said this is kind of James Bond in a YA vein. So something I'm interested in, let me know if you guys have read the novels, Alex Ryder, and if you're excited for the series in the comments below. Now, come November 15th in the UK on the BBC One channel and November 20th in the US on Amazon Prime, we have Small Acts. Now, this is a Steve McQueen drama which deals with the black experience in Britain. Britain. I am so excited for this. I have the screener for it. They gave me the first three. It's a, it's a mini series. It's three. It's five movies in total, but they're going to release the first three in November and the last two in December. You have Letitia Wright. You have uh, John Boega. It looks incredible. I, I love Steve McQueen. I love 12 Years a Slave. Wasn't the biggest fan of, you know, Widows, but I love, you know, what we got with Hunger. Love what we got with his other films. So I'm a big fan of his work. I love this cast. I love the storytelling. I'm really excited for this film. So let me know. I'm, I should say I'm really excited for this miniseries this kind of anthology miniseries let me know if you all are excited for it and let me know your thoughts in the comments below so last but not least on Amazon Prime, we have Wednesday, November 25th, Uncle Frank. The film stars Paul Bedney and Sophia Lilith. Set in the 1970s, Uncle Frank is a road trip movie about a gay man who confronts his past. I'm really a fan of these two actors. I love this premise. I love that it's coming out on Thanksgiving, and I'm really excited to check it out. Let me know if you all are excited about it in the comments below. So switching gears over to Apple TV Plus really wasn't anything that caught my eye, but there are a bunch of docu-series that I'm wondering if you guys are excited for. Let me know in the comments below. But over on Disney Plus, nothing really big coming out, but we do have the continuation of season two of The Mandalorian, which I will be covering every single Friday on this channel. Let me know if you guys enjoyed that first episode, and if you're excited for episode two coming this Friday, let's have a discussion about it in the comments below. Now, switching gears over to HBO Max, we have Monday, November 16th, season two premiere of His Dark Materials. Now, I didn't check out the first season. Let me know in the comments, is this show worth diving into? And should I watch the first season to catch up to season two? Or if I'm really not missing much, let's talk about it in the comments below. So come November 26th on a Thursday, we have a new HBO Max limited series, The Flight Attendant, starring Kaylee Coco. Now, I saw the trailer for this. This looks pretty interesting. It looks more like a drama thriller than it does what you expect with Kaylee Coco in a comedy. But the idea of the show is she's a flight attendant. She has a one-night stand. She wakes up in the morning, and her one-night stand is dead. Now, she doesn't call the cops. She just leaves, heads back on the flights, and the police start to look for her. So this looks really interesting. Let me know if you are excited for The Flight Attendant coming to HBO Max November 26th. Now, on the same day, November 26th, we have a new HBO Max original movie, Super Intelligence, which stars Melissa McCartney in her fourth collaboration with her husband as him as the director and her as the lead. I haven't been a fan of their collaborations, but hey, fourth time's a good charm. We'll see. Let me know if you are excited about this film and let me know if you're a fan of their collaborations or if you're like me and think that they're just like not that funny. But let's talk about it in the comments below. 
Now, on November 29th, on a Sunday, we have the season finale of this new limited series, The Undoing. Now, I have been reviewing this show every single Sunday. You have Hugh Grant, you have Nicole Kidman, you have a murder mystery, a drama. I'm really enjoying it so far, and we have the finale in coming at the end of the month. So let me know if you guys have been checking out, and if you haven't, give it a watch, check out my reviews, and let's talk about it in the comments. The Undoing season finale, November 29th. Wrapping this portion up of the video in regards to the last streaming service to highlight, which is Hulu. So we have November 10th on a Tuesday, A Teacher, which is a limited series starring Kate Mara and Nick Robertson. Now, this show is based on a movie that came out in 2013, which I'm not too familiar with the premise. I know the idea of the show, which is a teacher and a student having an affair. So I'm a big fan of dramas. I like these two actors, and I'm really excited about it. So hopefully we got a good drama on our hands. Let me know if you guys are excited for The Teacher, which comes out on Hulu November 10th. And last but not least, we have on a Friday, November 20th, we have the new drama thriller film, Run, starring Sarah Paulson. Listen, if you know me, you know I love me some Sarah Paulson. I like the director. The last film he did was Searching, which I love that film. So I'm really excited for this movie. You have this mother who's keeping her daughter kind of cooped up. She's in a wheelchair. She's keeping giving her vitamins and pills, kind of really making her sick maybe. We'll see. Again, I love Sarah Paulson. I love this director. I'm really excited for it. I hope it's a really good drama thriller suspense film because I'm a big fan of those two uh, working together so there you have it we talked Hulu Amazon we talked Netflix we talked HBO we talked about some movies at the theater as well as VOD and then I also share with you all my rankings of movies and shows that I recommend you all check it out so Guys, this was a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments, again, what movies did you enjoy that came out in October and what movies and shows that's coming out on VOD, that's coming out in theaters and coming out in streaming services that you guys are most excited for for the month of November. As always, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of those movie reviews, those TV reviews, and a lot of live streams that we do on this very channel. Hope you all are having a great day. Happy November. Hopefully, we got some great stuff to talk about in the month of November. Hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you all on the next video.